Stay seated, please. And listen to this important announcement, which I'm going to make today, and I'm going to make it on Sunday. The Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry is not any other church. It's a peculiar church. It's a battle church. Here we are for serious business. For those who want to possess their possession and those who want to make heaven. The Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministry is not people friendly. It's God friendly. We are not here to satisfy people. We are here to please the Almighty God. Every church has its blueprint. Every church has its standard. Every church has its own ordinance from God. And its own covenant from God. What we are experiencing here at the Press City is about 10% of what the Lord wanted to do. And that's because we are having all kinds of things happening now which we do not allow. We are raising the realm of our prayers and in raising that realm according to our doctrine. Certain things will no longer be permitted at our meetings. We don't normally permit it. But we notice an influx now of people who are doing what we don't do. Fortunately, there are so many churches in Nigeria. It's not compulsory to come to the mountain of fire. If you don't like us, then you don't like us. But we are God-friendly, not people-friendly. Beginning from next Sunday, any woman who comes here wearing trousers will be stopped at the gate. Amen. We won't ask them not to come to the service. We will offer wrapper and scarf. If you take it, you enter. Don't want it, go to your church. No problem. After all, you can't walk to see our president in mini skirt with, with slit to your bottom or with exposed breasts. You will dress properly because you are going to see the president. So here now, uncovered hair for women is no longer allowed. Not allowed. We shall offer scarf. Put all that your heavy thing inside the scarf. It's not allowed at all. And this is going to be extended to the prayer city. We will not admit you into deliverance with jewelries, with makeup, with all those things anymore. So here, we are not going to allow transparent clothing anymore. Dresses and skirts that are above the knees will no longer be allowed there. Amen. And sometimes we notice some people with these strange dresses, they come and lie down on our altar, say they are praying. We shall ask you to go away. The Joe, uh, the Joe is a perfect gentleman. But when he receives instruction from God, we follow it to the letter. It's because we follow that instruction, you met us here. Amen. Amen. So this is why I'm going to make the announcement twice. So anybody, nobody will say they didn't hear. All the sleeveless clothes for women are not allowed. The backless clothes are not allowed. Makeup, not here. You must rub it off before you get here. Listen. All the exposed wig, the, the wig, which is not your hair, you put extra and then you are exposing it. Hide it. You either wrap it up or remove the wig. We don't want to see it streaming outside. If it does, the ushers will politely tell you to take scarf or excuse us. But any other form of indecent dressing will not be allowed. All those men who put every chain on their neck and open their body, which are butting you up and remove the chain and ask you to take it. We will button you up and give you your chain to put it put in your pocket. This is a deliverance ministry. We are not interested in increasing people's bondage. We are interested in setting them free. We can't say, hey, we want you to come. Therefore, we offend God. No. And then, if you are serious with your deliverance, you should not even put those things on. And all those who call themselves MFM women, MFM women, and you are still using jewelries, you are not part of us. And all those who were dressing properly before, now they begin to copy them now. Praise the Lord. If you look at my wife, dress like that. Dress like that. That's all. Praise the Lord. It's only ugly women who need makeup. And we don't have ugly women here. Rise up on your feet, please.